Hi everyone, uh, welcome to Sansa's uh, YouTube and Amazon uh, page for uh, our new released product video. So today we're going to be talking about briefly our brand new release 30 watt indoor full spectrum grow light. So as you can see, just from the, uh, we can kind of cover the design first of the light. Uh, there's actually four light sources for this uh, 30 watt indoor light. So one, uh, two, three, and four light panels on the front of the light. Uh, if you are, if it is facing down as well, we'll be covering the whole plant. Uh, as you can see here, if you do turn it this way, actually the arms are all retractable uh, and deformable. So you can kind of move the arms and wings of the light uh, up and down as you please. So the actual arm and wing coverage is about 200, uh, 120 degrees as you move it downwards and upwards. So this is the final uh, kind of angle that it can be moved down to, and it can also be moved all the way up to 90 degrees here uh, against the fixture of the light. So just in terms of the actual practical applications of this light, uh, you can see on the bottom of the light or the top of the light, depending on which angle, is the E26 base. So the E26 base of this light uh, can be installed anywhere throughout the home. This makes this light probably the easiest light to be installed uh, on the market currently for indoor grow lights as it's just a screw in. So you'll see later in the video, you just put it in and twist. So it's a twist and screw uh, indoor 31 grow light. Uh, in terms of using this light, it just kind of the retractable arms give you options. So if you want to uncover a plant, a very wide plant or a very narrow plant, you can move the arms all the way down here, as you can see, and you can kind of cover the plant in very tight angles here. And if you want to cover a, a wider range of plants, one to two plants, or put the light in the middle of a group of plants uh, for kind of horizontal illumination, you can just tuck up each wing of the light here. And as you can see, the light is fully retracted and it can cover kind of the whole vertical angle uh, on the plant next to the light. So now we can kind of talk about the beam and some of the basic structures of the light. So we covered the E26 base, uh, the retractable arms, kind of providing options uh, for horizontally or vertically over plants. And now we can just kind of talk about uh, the beam of the light. So the beam of this light is actually full spectrum. This means it's kind of replicating natural daylight at around 4,000 K, uh, kind of 4,000 K daylight. So uh, it has kind of red, blue, green, yellow, and orange uh, light waves within it. And it's kind of covering the whole visible light spectrum for plants. So why is this important? Uh, in terms of uh, replicating the natural kind of uh, environment of a plant outdoors under uh, direct sunlight, it would need to have contain, the light itself would need to contain the whole visible light spectrum. So we did decide on kind of making a general use light uh, with 4,000K daylight beam that is full spectrum. So it does offer green, yellow, orange, red, and blue ratios of light. So this is just to kind of replicate the indoor uh, growing scenario as naturally as possible. <clears throat> so what applications can this light be used for? Uh, actually, the retractable arms kind of give you more options in terms of what this light can be used for. Uh, General indoor lights are actually sometimes a bar light, so just one strip or kind of just an indoor bulb, which is just kind of a direct beam going downwards uh, intensely over a plant. With this light, you actually have more options in terms of you can just spread the beam out uh, and cover more area if you wish to, or you can kind of make it very intense and low down on a plant as well. If it's a very small plant or a succulent that needs to kind of very intense light over it, so you can make it very intense where you can just retract the arms up. Uh, the kind of most common use would be about here when it's just kind of horizontal. Uh, and this would just be covering kind of a 270 degree uh, kind of beam coverage angle. So this light can be used all around the home, indoor farms uh, or inside your house as well. The 4000K beam, which is daylight, will actually kind of bring a nice white, yellowish, whitish beam inside your home if you are using it kind of within the kitchen or the study or the office or somewhere like that for an uh, uh, office plant or an indoor plant. But the 4000K beam actually in a greenhouse as well or a grow area outdoors will really kind of benefit the plants as well. It's just replicating natural daylight and kind of bringing a new uh, kind of wider beam, wider ranging option for your plants. Uh, what kind of plants and vegetables uh, can kind of work well underneath this light? Uh, due to the fact it's a daylight beam, every plant uh, through any phase can be used uh, underneath this light. So if you're using a full spectrum beam, uh, it means it can kind of, it develops the plant in any growth phase. So if it's seedlings, 
uh, you would just need to move the plant, uh, the light closer to the plant. So uh, if I have seedlings, I would just kind of lower the plant, uh, lower the light towards the plant. And as the plant is developing and growing, I just need to reduce the intensity of the light. So I'll just kind of gradually move uh, the light upwards and away from the plants throughout each phase. So when they're seedlings, they would take the most intense amount of light. And then as you're kind of moving the plant, uh, as the plant is developing, you're just moving the light upwards and away. So this is kind of what we designed this light for, uh, general use for every stage and every plant. So this, this is applicable for every plant, uh, every succulent. It does cover a wide range of kind of applications for indoor grows. Uh, just to kind of reiterate, if you are growing uh, in the kind of vegetative stage or the flowering stage, you just need to move the light kind of further up and away from the plant. So there's no suggested, there are some suggested hanging heights however to find there's no specific exact one so you would need to kind of move it up and down and find uh, somewhere within the comfortable range for your plant so just keep an eye on them uh, growing and developing underneath the light if it seems a little too intense just move the light up if it's not enough just move the light closer so it's a general use light and with a 4000k beam so it's kind of just replicating natural daylight within your home or your greenhouse or kind of indoor farm so what are the advantages of Sansa and why should you kind of buy the Sansa light? First of all, our design in terms of the uh, horizontal, uh, the horizontal kind of applications for this light, so the retractable arms. The, the arms kind of go up and down as you need, covering a wider range of options uh, for any kind of indoor grow light. As you can see here, the design is similar to our garage light and kind of these are, the garage light is one of our most popular sellers on Amazon and we're just kind of replicating the design of that garage light uh, into grow lights now so we're just trying to kind of use the uh, kind of newer technology of retractable arms uh, in grow lighting as well just to kind of provide something new to the customer. Uh, as you can see on the back of the light, uh, or each heat, uh, heat, each heat sink module is a hollow body. So this is about removing heat away from the LED chips of the light uh, and dissipating the heat through the body of the light outwards via kind of air convection. So as you can see on the bottom of the light or the bottom of the heat sink is kind of open air. This is just about removing the heat away from the light to prolong the life of this light. So uh, we'll just kind of plug the light in so you can get a better idea of kind of how you use it, how to kind of install it and what kind of applications you could use it for. So obviously it's a very wide reaching application light uh, and it's very simple to use. So you just kind of screw it in as it's an E26 bulb uh, and then you just kind of you just switch it on. So that was a screw in uh, and turn and then you just kind of switch it on here and we'll turn the light off and you kind of get a better idea of how the light itself actually looks. So as you can see here, the light itself actually looks kind of like a general uh, kind of light, uh, daylight beam. It's very, it's kind of a white, a yellowish white. So it does, it is about 4,000K. Uh, for a normal indoor grow light, this does kind of provide very natural and kind of uh, developing light for any kind of plant indoors. So if you're looking for a kind of a very general use, uh, but practical light, so practicality is kind of used within the wings where you can move the light up and down. You can concentrate the beam. You can kind of move the beam away from the plant if you need to. It's just about kind of using practical technology in terms of the wing design uh, to replicate natural kind of uh, scenarios for plants to develop and grow underneath. So we can turn the light back on now. We'll switch this off because you've kind of got a better idea of how the light works and how it looks uh, with no kind of exterior, uh, kind of outdoor light effectively. So this light does kind of, it's very easy to screw in, as you saw there, it's kind of just a twist and screw in. And it's very easy to set up, uh, you just take it out of the packaging, it's ready to go. So if you're looking for a very easy and simple light to use, but also kind of provide your light with very, uh, provide your plants with very practical and intense light, uh, the brand new Sansa 30 watt LED indoor full spectrum grow light is kind of the way to go.